Uh, right, okay, so we're joined here on Osset United TV by manager Wayne Ben and new signing Nathan Valentine on the back of a very, very uh, impressive, in the end, 2-0 victory at Pickering. Wayne, what were your thoughts on the game, first of all? Oh, first half, um, not great. Uh, lacks a little bit of cohesion, um, so a little bit of a change in shape. Um, issues at the top end of the pitch due to illness, obviously no frontline striker, if you like. Um, and I think it took us a while to adjust, really. Pickering started better, we, 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 have, to, we have to say that. Um, they had far too many um, set pieces, um, it's far, far too much possession and territory for my liking. Um, and it was great to get in at 1-0. Um, but, um, you know, we, we had to just go in and, and, and just get a bit more out of people, really. Uh, so, um, I think Nathan will back it up. I lost my temper a little bit. You know, we asked, we asked for better standards. We asked for um, more work rates, uh, better pressing, uh, 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 being more compact. And I think we got all of that second half. And I think it was a good reaction to, to what was said at half-time, to be honest. So, um yeah, we're the winners in the end, but, um, but we rolled his luck a little bit first half. And we've, we've got to get rid of that. We've got to get rid of just playing for 45 minutes. It, you know, it's the better teams that will cause us problems. And that's not being disrespectful for Pickering because I thought for the first half, they were their manager and everything that they thought. They were competing for everything. They were bright on the, on the, on the attack. And, you know, we were playing against the wind. We had played for three weeks. There's loads and loads of excuses if you want to look for them. But, but ultimately, we we um, yeah we didn't perform anywhere near our, our, our usual levels. Second half, much much better. Brilliant. So, Nathan, uh, welcome to us at United. First of all, um, thrust in at the deep end, I suppose. Only been here for twenty four hours. Uh, what were your thoughts on the game today, and what's your thoughts on us at United as a whole? Um, it was a tough game. I think being out there in the middle of park, you know, it was a rough and tumble all the way, all the way from defence right way to attack. And Gaff is right in what he's saying. You know, we 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 rode his luck a couple of times and credit to Pickering. You know, I know Steve or a couple of lads in there from the time of Scarborough and we knew it's going to be a tough game. The gap said before the game, you know, any position is irrespective. You've got to earn the right to play. And I think, you know, we, we rode us up at times, but I think, you know, second half certainly we came through. Um, I think we probably couldn't have got any worse uh, first half. And we had everything to improve on the second half. And to be fair to Gaffer, uh, landed the troops and uh, got that reaction that I was asking for on the uh, first half. OK, what were your thoughts on the fans out there uh, Brilliant, this afternoon yeah, yeah. as well? Brilliant. I think, you know, any, any fan is a fan on club. So they, they live and die through every single kick, tackle, header, pass, you know, that they feel it with you. And, you know, you'll see at, at, at the end there, they were, they were on the feet, clocking the lads. And, you know, as players, I really, really appreciate that. And it was, you know, one of the reasons as to why I wanted to come sign here. It's a project. The lads have done well to get up to fifth. And, you know, it's about uh, time to kick on now. And performances like today, you know, I think you'll probably see a lot more of them, especially when we come into the winter months. The pitches are exactly like they're going to be today. And it becomes less of a football and spectacle and more of a battle. And, you know, we, we've got lads in there that proven today uh, and throughout the season as the gaffer mentioned before that can go in and do that yeah excellent stuff and finally Wayne um, some good news on the injury front Deck um, given obviously back in the squad today um, Eddie Cass and uh, Ross Killock uh, looking like they're um, short term features maybe um, what's your thoughts on the injury setup at the moment the injury status we're getting there getting there we didn't want to risk we didn't want to risk Marcel today he's, he's getting there but um it was a little bit too soon. We felt it was a little bit too soon for Declan to start. Literally, he's had, he's had a half an hour training session um, prior to being out for a, a month. So uh, we've got to be careful. We've got to nurse people through, um, so particularly in the areas where we're just a, a, you know a touch short at the minute. Um, but it's, it's yeah, it's sealing up. We've had you, you know yourself. We've had numerous um, injury problems. Does affect you. Uh, we're starting to get people back. We need to get those players back fit as quickly as we can. Um, get Nathan, get Nathan integrated into things quickly, um, and we'll um, and we'll improve. So it's just onwards and upwards. Really. Get, get, great to get that monkey off us back. So we've not won for two or three games. Great to get that out of the way. Um, yeah, we can play better. We know that. As Nathan alluded to there, sometimes you just got to grind them out, um, and I think that was one of them today. Um, but second half, much much better, much more what we expect. To the other boys, um, and yeah, we look forward to next week uh, against Sheffield now. Okay, well, Wayne, congratulations on today, Nathan. Welcome to the Madhouse, and uh, we'll speak to you both soon. Thank you. Cheers, Cheers mate. Thank you.